always been called everything from President Trump's brain to President Bannon. And yesterday, this man of mystery stepped into the limelight to answer questions at CPAC. Jeannie Mose compares the parodies to the reality. The man SNL portrayed as the Grim Reaper wasn't so grim as he made a rare public appearance. You know, I can run a little hot on occasions. Um... <laughs> You may never have heard his voice before, but you've probably seen cartoons of him holding President Trump on his lap, whispering in the president's ear, being the master puppeteer. Steve Bannon has an announcement. Just a second, the strings are tangled. And that's how we wound up with President Bannon and his dummy Donnie. President Bannon has his own parody Twitter account, tweeting comments like, Day 33, Donald Trump still believes he is the president, there are impeach President Bannon t-shirts, and even a New York Times editorial called him President. The Late Show showed Bannon tucking in President Trump. Night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. But in person, the only thing Bannon flicked was the press. Well, the mainstream media don't get this. Is that the opposition party? Yes, that is. Does the actual president mind all the talk of President Bannon? Maybe Bannon's calling all the shots. If that wasn't true, then a certain cable news fan wouldn't have felt the need, less than an hour later, to tweet, I call my own shots. <laughs> Former Obama advisor David Axelrod compared Bannon and Reince Priebus to a song and dance team as they got touchy-feely. A very dear friend. Perhaps to dispel rumors of turf battles, this was like Bannon's coming out. You know, Steve, you're a really likable guy. You should do this more often. Get out a little more. From under that mask, SNL puts you under. Can I have my desk back? Yes, of course, Mr. President. I'll go sit at my desk. Genie Mo, CNN, New York.